Alright guys, welcome to another vlog. Uh, I'm just on my way to meet Charlotte, who has got us a couple of um, lactate threshold tests. Morning. Hello. I'm not brushing my hair, you've got the camera out already. <laughs> um, we don't really know what we're doing, do we Charlotte? I mean, do they have, so we don't know what type of test it is, do we? Do you know it's much a, about well, it? it's a VO2 max oh, test. Oh, it is a VO2 max test? I think right. it's VO2 they max. they have the mask? No. No. I don't okay. think so. It's supposed to be testing my lactate threshold. Yeah. And they're going to do, they test your blood. Pushed apart, by the way. Oh, Sainsbury's probably. Gotta get your hair right before you get on the treadmill. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Hello, we're here to see Jamie for lactate threshold testing. How's it going? That's good, yeah, 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 yeah you. Yeah, really good, thanks, yeah. Excellent, you alright, Charlotte? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Yeah, you not don't look bad. so bad, you sound so worried. <laughs> it's because I've just been filmed and I haven't even brushed my hair. <laughs> I walked out the house and he was already there, camera. Oh, shit. Oh, he's ready. Yeah, well. I didn't this was up here. Oh, did you not? Yeah, this is our physio rooms. Ooh. Yeah, so we do uh, physio, we do acupuncture, we do reflexology that you had before. Yeah. So she's in. Right, okay. Do you want to come through? Yeah. And, uh... Right. Is there any chance I can have a go as well? Of course you can, yeah. Because yeah, that yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, seeing as though you've got your running stuff on. Yeah, I've always got my running <laughs> stuff on, yeah. It's just how I dress these days. <laughs> but the threshold test, what it does is it gives you a baseline fitness of yeah. where you are currently at, but it also gives you an indicator of what pace to work towards. So you're not going to build up uh, muscle fatigue um, quickly. You can try and keep that off as much as you, you can. Um, so if you are keeping your pace at a, yeah. a slower rate initially um, and you're keeping it just below that threshold point, you know that you're not going to accumulate the blood lactate in your, in your it's in the muscles where it can yeah. get um, the problem. Blood lactate will start to slowly accumulate yeah. um, into your blood. However, the fitter you are, you can dilute that in the blood at a quicker pace. It works with heart rate, so do right. any of you actually run with I stopped heart running, rate? I stopped running with my heart rate monitor. I used to be quite yeah. obsessed with it. Yeah. I just found that um, it was one more thing to put on. But if you've got that, even if it's an indicator of where your heart rate is, yeah. and then you know that it's just below your threshold, you know that you, you're not going to accumulate the um, yeah. They like to take into to your muscle. With 5Ks, 10Ks, you are literally running at fresh, yeah. lactate threshold point. So it's just about manageable. Yeah. But it, you know, you'll feel that. That's the thing with the 10K. It's you, yeah. just, you, you get the pace and you hold on to it. Absolutely. Like, That's why I hate yeah. 10Ks. 10Ks to me, psychologically, yeah. are, are painful. Yeah. Um, half marathon and marathon. Half marathon, you're coming off your threshold pace. Yeah. Marathon, you're really coming off. I mean, really. So you'll probably find it dead, dead easy for the first five miles. All right, if I do some like height, uh, yeah. weight, and um, blood pressure. As long as the yeah, weight's sorry. not on the video. So. Now, this is going to be on the treadmill, uh, although right. you probably hate running on the treadmill. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. Um, but it's the most controlled way of yeah, doing sure. it. Yeah. Um, so you will go for a warm up process um, for about five minutes dead gentle pace and then we're going to monitor your heart rate after that we're going to start the test and you're going to start on it incremental so we're going to do three minutes yeah. at um, relatively uh, steady pace and then each three minutes you're going to up the pace say uh, one mile an hour half a mile an hour until your, we can see the spike in your, your threshold and now yeah. I will take the threshold I'll have to every, every um, three minutes I'll take your lactate reading. This is like you're resting, okay? It doesn't matter, I've done 5k this morning. Uh, have you done 5k this morning? Yeah, have you? Very, well what very, we'll do is we'll, do a, pace, we'll so. do a lactate reading and see where you are because if you've done running you might have lactate in your system yeah. already which yeah, means yeah. when you do the test you want to be generally yeah. at resting. 12k, yeah. reasonably hard last night. Right. So you might be better 
come in and having a threshold test when you're completely at rest. There's different settings on his little thing that you yeah. you prick it with. Yeah. And he kept having to ramp it up and he's like, it's still not, it's still, he's going, oh my God, what's your old skin made of? Yeah, right. So he, okay. had to, he had to be quite brutal. Right, okay, I'll well, put it on. Put it on Sick. I think that's, that's Max. Let's see. Actually, that might be Max. Yeah, I think that's a deeper one. Right, you'll just feel a little bit of a pinch. There we go. There we go, get that on. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, that, get that. Pretty. Yeah, that's it, <laughs> right, there we go. One middle one, uh, so uh, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so any finger? I want you to squeal now, Paul. <laughs> this is on the medium setting, actually. Medium, I've got weak, weak skin. <laughs> So you are actually um, got 3.3 millimoles inside you at the moment. So I'm already too much. Um, I'm not recovered. So uh, <laughs> it just goes to show that you can feel like you've recovered even yeah. if you haven't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sort of bring it when you're a bit more of a resting yeah, state. Yeah, so yeah, uh, okay. I'll give you some dates and then. Uh, cool. Yeah, come in. Are you all right running a treadmill? Yeah. Yeah. Ish. I know you probably hate it. Which well, I, I have tried it at the gym and I just find it very rubbish. boring. Um, it's FitLab, which is a fitness testing business, um, which I'm, I've started from um, uh, finishing my university degree last year. So, uh, <laughs> thanks. So, um, basically, we decided to. Uh, uh, operate sort of uh, provide fitness testing for for everybody rather than just the elitists uh, yeah, yeah. where yeah. only can get access to it yeah. okay so you're ready to uh, get off the treadmill like that. how are you feeling okay gets all the way fantastic <laughs> there we go. So again, when you get back on, this might be a struggle as well. So you're actually at six. That should have been at six point five. Yeah. Um, so you should be going up to seven now. Brilliant. Come on, Charlotte. You're doing well. How are you feeling? So we're going. Might do a, one more after this. So see how the lactate, the lactate's still all right. Okay. Okay. I think I'll... I'm not sure I can do three minutes at half mile an hour faster. faster. You can keep at the same pace if you want to. But we'll uh, see, how, see how you feel. And then... Uh, well, I might as well go up half mile an hour. And, if and then see how you feel, just yeah. Just do as, yeah. as long as I can. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's basically going above the, uh, the the point now. Four is your baseline, really. Um, it's, it's getting challenging now. Your, your heart rate is up at 183. It's uh, getting in that. Come on, one more minute. 24.14. You can do it. 50 seconds. Just keep focus. Really good. Excellent. Go on. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic. Well done, Charlotte. I'm just gonna get off all of this excess sweat because I don't want it to interfere. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Basically, that last recording was eight millimoles, um, which is um, double the recommended right, of okay. uh, yeah. a uh, uh, exercise lactate yeah, reading. Yeah. Uh, generally, you've got a rest reading, which is two or below, yeah. ideally, 
uh, which Charlotte was actually it was quite low on the resting reading minus three already yeah, yeah. Um, but the, the thing is though um, and the first um, the first three were, were relatively steady it was 3.5 3.3 4 now it can fluctuate sometimes because it can get diluted with sweat yeah. and that's the only problem um, however um, the last one was at um, here we go so the last one was at um, the second to last one was 7 miles an hour um, and um, she had a reading of 5.5 millimoles yeah. so it wasn't creeping up excessively but it was gradually going up and then from 5.5 to 8 so there's a bit more of a it? yeah, yeah. A rapid if she was to go to 8 yeah. that would go up to probably 13 it, it's it quite a, high, it? it gets yeah. all that high yeah, yeah. it is literally that thing going to, to maximal yeah. yeah so you can like like work with these figures to go okay I might go um, if my pace or my heart rate is at 169 beats per minute you know that if your pace is slightly less than that your lactate reading is going to be roughly the same or approaching the four millimole mark and uh, you're going to be finding it hard so you could be running up a hill your heart rate could be at 169 beats per minute and you're thinking oh my gosh I'm, I'm, I'm slower but again that that it's all relative so to keep a, rein yourself in using your heart rate mm -hmm. will just help guide you through yeah. any especially endurance it's really good for endurance thank you very much yeah. and i'll say I'll, i'm there at couch to 5k tomorrow i'm, I'm gonna be helping couch to 5k oh, tomorrow great okay. okay. bye nice right, so that was really cool it was very like, interesting actually. Yeah, because I'd been running this morning and quite hard last night. Um, it wasn't, I couldn't do it because I didn't have like a resting level. So I'm going to come back another time. But it was still fascinating to learn for me, uh, for you. And you got some, that's really actionable kind of takeaways, isn't it? Because Yeah, I'm surprised how fast I can in theory run. Um, and sus Well, the pace I can sustain has surprised me my fitness level is higher than I actually thought it would be. You can't park that guy. So basically, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting because you're, you're going to do a 10K, a Wilmslow 10K. Yeah, based, so based on the results of this um, lactate threshold test this morning, I'm going to do, uh, I'm doing Wilmslow 10K anyway. So Jane is going to pace me according to the lactate threshold test results uh, and in theory, uh, the results suggest that I should be able to get around about the hour, which is surprising because I would have thought an hour 10 was my you've, target. You've not run sub 30 on a 5k yet, is that right? No, correct. So in theory, you should definitely be able to do sub 35k if you're borderline... That's my goal. A sub 35k was my goal, and I thought I was probably a good couple of months away from that. I, yeah, from the looks of it, maybe. But not so. but this would suggest that with the right person pacing me, I potentially could do a sub 35k. Yeah, and even a sub hour 10k. Ma maybe, yeah, ma maybe yeah, maybe around, maybe close. Yeah. On a fast track, maybe. Yeah. yeah well, so it'd be really interesting to see how that pans out and how accurate that is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap, I'll wrap this up now, shall we? Because we've got two minutes left on this card. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, we'll definitely follow this up another time. And so, how's it going to work? Is you're starting your own vlog, Charlotte? I'm going to have a try. Yeah, and this is going to be on my channel for now. But the follow-up, some of the follow-ups to this, might be on Charlotte's. Might be. I'm sure be. you'll all subscribe to that right away. Oh, of course, and make sure you've subscribed to this channel if you haven't already. Yeah, but I never say that. I never say subscribe to. My You're channel, supposed to yeah. say like. I know. And subscribe. I just feel like such a numpty saying it. I don't bother. Yeah, and people, yeah, I don't know. I probably should. Everyone like and subscribe. Yeah, like there we and go. subscribe. <laughs> All right, cool. Take it easy.